Hello, welcome to my desk. Here I'm going to show you the inner workings of Event Dispatcher. For that purpose, I have chosen an example of Zoom app when Bluetooth is connected in A2DP profile. On the screen, left side you have events and right side you have books. Let's assume we've just started the Zoom app. Zoom app creates a input client node so that it can record the audio locally. And, and Pipewire reports that uh, occurrence of this new node to its session manager which is wire plumber. Wire plumber consumes this event, consumes the signal, converts it into an event and pushes it, assigns it a priority and pushes it onto the event priority stack. Now these yellow boxes here are the hooks which want to run for this event. Their prioritization is from left to right. Then Zoom app creates a output client node so that it can play the audio locally and these are the uh, hooks for that event. Now, Event Dispatcher sees there are two events which are of the equal priority, in which case it will prioritize the one which came in first. And so it is going to, it, it picks this event and uh, runs this hook, which is of the first priority. Now, this hook is responsible for changing the profile of Bluetooth device from A to DP to HFP. This results in a new event, which is device profile change event, it, and it carries higher priority. And this is the hook for that event now at the end of each and every hook event dispatcher is going to check if there are any higher priority events if there is one it is going to continue the execution of that event and it will discontinue the execution of the current event so it takes up this event and this is the hook corresponding to it, and so it executes it so this hook is done this is the only hook for this event and so this event will also be done now this results in even more pipewire signals and uh, events so the first one is the a2dp node removal a2dp profile has been removed changed it is no more and so the those nodes will have to be removed and these are the hooks for that event and hfp profile has been selected so hfp device nodes will have to be added this is the sync node these are the hooks for that event and this is the source node these are the hooks for that event. Now we have all the needed events. So we are going to resume. We are going to pick the next priority event and the next priority hook and resume or resume. Event dispatcher is going to resume its execution. So it picks this restore stream event. Restore, restore stream uh, hook uh, is responsible for restoring the stored known properties like volume, mute, etc. And the next one is create item. Create item creates the session items out of the nodes. Session items are needed uh, for wire plumber so that it can link them. So the next next hook is the rescan trigger hook. Rescan trigger hook pushes a rescan event. Rescan event happens to carry the lowest priority and so it is pushed at the bottom of the stack. And this is the hook which is interested uh, for this event. Now rescan, a bit on what is the rescan? Rescan is the process of linking and unlinking the nodes. So the rescan trigger here, instead of linking, running the rescan process di directly, it, instead it is actually postponing the execution of it and then pushing a event here. Now going back, we are going to, we are done with the hooks, all the hooks here and so we will be discarding this event and uh, event dispatcher is going to pick the next priority event which is this one and so, and so it, go, it is going to run the restore stream, create item and then the rescan trigger now so we are we have created the session item which is corresponding to this node and and we'll have to link them again so we'll have to consider linking this one as well so the it so and so we are creating pushing this rescan trigger now here also rescan trigger it won't run the rescan process instead it will try to do it it, it will try to run it via the rescan event so it tries to push the rescan event now uh, event dispatcher sees that there is an existing rescan event already there and so it tries to reuse it instead of pushing a new one. Going back, uh, all the hooks for this event are done and so this event will be discarded and the next next priority event will be picked which is this one and so uh, this this is the destroy item because this is the A2DP node removal. All the uh, this is the addition this is the removal and so the session item will be destroyed session item is destroyed and so i'll have to probably unlink some of those nodes and so the rescan trigger rescan trigger 
again uh, tries to uh, push the risk event and it won't create it won't push a new one because even dispatcher sees that there is an existing risk and event already there and so it tries to reuse so in this way as you can see so risk and trigger hook has been run thrice right here 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 now in all these cases uh, instead of doing the same thing over and over again it is basically reusing the whole uh, processing so this is how the wire plumber helps cut down on the unnecessary processing rerunning in something over and over again not needed and so everything is sort of uh, ordered this way now coming back this is uh, this hook is done and so this event is done uh, so it picks the next priority event which is this so hook number one hook number two hook number three and so this risk and trigger will again reuse the same risk event it won't push a new one and so this event is discarded here and uh, event dispatcher picks the next priority event and the next priority hook which is this one hook number one number two number three and this event will be discarded now we are left with only risk event and so we do the actual risk scanning process as a process pro as a part of this event now at this moment please notice that all the nodes have been created session items have been created they are configured ready for linking at this right moment event dispatcher runs the rescan process instead of running them over and over again so this hook is done the rescan event is also done uh, this brings me to the end of my presentation i hope you enjoyed it